Now, what have you got before you? You've got the hexagon uh, flip and fold card. Now, I'm going to show you how to do a different technique in this particular set. Now, you've got loads and loads of different sets that you can go and choose from. You've got ovals, you've got rounds, few examples here. You've got stars, you've got all sorts of things. And with every uh, different template set that you've got there, you've got a different video that gives you another technique. And before you know it, you'll be going, wow! I mean, these are, these are templates plus, where normally you've just got a template, you draw around it, and that's it. These, you can create your own templates. You can print them out onto whatever you want. Whether I usually do it onto just ordinary uh, paper, cheap and inexpensive, and you just look after them, stick them down, you put them onto card if you want them to last a little bit longer, or put them onto acetate, or you can even draw around a plastic sheet and make it your own plastic templates too. Uh, but this gives you uh, availability. Not availability, is that the right word? I don't know. This gives you uh, variation. What? Opportunity. Well, you know that opportunities, do you? Um, never mind cackling there behind your, behind your, your banker's studio equipment. Right, I'm going to go through this with as least interruption as possible. This gives you lots of options. That's the word I was looking for, of ways of doing opportunity. What you like? Um, this is the octagonal. No, it's not. It's the hexagonal. She's got me all confused. That's going to make. That's the basic shape. But you're going to get six sizes. So let's run through those sizes and show you exactly what you're going to get. Now, we're using in the different uh, uh, demonstrations, you'll see lots of different sizes. This one's about number three, I think it is. This one I've just printed onto a piece of parchment here so you can see through it even better. But that could be onto card or whatever you want it to go through. That is your basic size on this one. You've got all these different options here as well for different matting layers or making frames various options. You've got the main dotted line, which will give you the card, because effectively you're making two, two of these. I've got one there, and I've got the other one here that's going exactly the same, but on some black card, exactly the same that's going to become the leg at the back of the card, but all will become apparent in a moment. So that's, that's the first size. You've got that there, and you've got this one too, the next size down, that's number two. And then you've got number three. I think that's number three that I'm going to use. Or is it number two? No, number two I'm going to use. Let's move that over to one side there, not to confuse you. Then you've got number three. Then you've got number four. And right down to the little diddy one. So whatever I show you now, you can do in any size you want. Plus, there's loads of, loads of different options. You can turn these into aperture cards. You can use them for frames. You can use them for matter layering. From that one template, you can do lots and lots of different templates that you can make up. And before you know it, you could have from one template per sheet, you could have 20, 30 different temp template combinations. I'll show you what I've done with this one. I printed this one onto card. So, so there's my first design. This is the size I'm going to use. I printed it onto a piece of card and then I cut around it to make my template. There's my template. I've got two little bits of uh, low uh, masking tape on there. And what I do is I keep all my templates on an A4 sheet of paper here and then just stick them down, pop them in a, a cellophane, a little plastic leaf folder, you know, keep all your templates in one, and you build them up. I could, if I wanted to, make another template out of this by taking one of these circles out, or circles, one of these inners out, so I could have that as an aperture. Or, I've, like this case, I've cut these all up into frames. Now, if you print that out onto card and just take a scalpel and just cut these all out, you've got various frames you've got there now. If I just draw around the outside, then you've got the mat and layers you can use. So these are the two that I've used to make this demonstration with, that size and that size. Now all I do is, let's move these out of the way for you. Dun, 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 dun. Pop those over there. Now I've got a piece of card, well a piece of paper here, I don't want to waste my card, because I'm only showing you how to draw around it. So you've cut the main one out. So if you want to, if the way I use the templates, now this is just printed onto ordinary, just ordinary photocopying paper but you can still use them fantastic. So I've just put that down there. Now, if you're going to stick it down, I always try and find a straight edge, so at least I get one cut I don't have to do. Just hold that in position, take your pencil, and just kind of hold it down gently, and just go around it with the pencil like so. Very simple and easy to do. Now, the great thing of using these digital templates is if you should lose one, or if the dog should run after it, or the cat should chew, on it, chew it, or the kids are going to mess it about.
Well, then you just print another one out. And how long does it take you to cut a template out? Not at all. And I've just gone around that. You can see how easy that is. I'm going to put that straight back onto my piece of paper so it keeps nice and protected. There you go. It's ready to go for the next time. You've even got your little bits of tab on there so you're not messing about. There's my template. If you want, you can just draw it across there with a ruler. But to be honest, you just cut them out. If you want a mat, you just cut around the outside. You wouldn't even bother drawing the centre side. But if you want to make a frame, then you can do it that way. Well, I've made mats. So if you look at this one here, I've actually done this one. That's that size there. And I did it on black card. And there's my mat ready to use. Then I did the smaller one in the same kind of card that's on the other. And that's going to go over the top there. So I've now cut the main one out. Did exactly the same, but cut it out in this nice fancy card. And because I'm going to use the back, I don't want to use my all my best expensive uh, card on the back. So I've just used some ordinary black card. Now basically, just give you the principle again, that goes that way. I'm going to put this on the top and then it'll go underneath. That goes that way. So that goes that way. So, well, I've printed onto that. That folds over and then at the bottom here, that also then becomes the leg. So if I turn that over now, because I don't want it to be on the front, this is going to peel off the back. And go on, you're going to start laughing again. Oh, you can never get that bits of tape off the back. There you go. Let's get the bit off the back there. It comes up like that. Press it down again. Well, that sounds like The Exorcist then. And then what I'm going to do, you just marry this up perfectly. And that's going to go there. That fits on there. And that fits on there. And that fold, there you go, that's stuck down, that's halfway, straight the way across there, and that folds over and becomes the leg at the back. So when I crease that like so, you've got the beautiful card there, standing up, three style. Now it's on this slippy mat here, so it would have a tendency to go bloop. But if it was on the actual fabric, it stays where it's put. So let's fold it and just show you, there you go. And now I can decorate that up any way that I want to. I'm just going to move these out of the way. So I do like to, I keep saying, a tidy table is a happy crafter. So that you could decorate and do what you want to, any kind of card making. That's your basic, basic template. But you can take the templates and make your own mat and layers or, or what have you. And this one I'm going to do like a, I've got foam pads on the back. I've just pre-prepared and I'm just going to, oh, here we go again. At times like this, you wish you didn't bite your nails and then peel that off. And then I'm going to position that like that. If I wanted to, I could do like that, a little bit of variation if I wanted to. Can you see that? Bit, bit silly doing it black on black. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one of these underneath so it's white and you can see it a little bit better and it's not going to have the tablecloth um, blending in there. So that's got, that's got the foam pad on and I'm going to stick that down there. If I wanted to, I could decorate that card there like that. Um, but next, I've got another one that's going to go on the top there. It's going to give you that 3D look. So, uh, but it's still not going to be too high because if you're going to post these, then that's going to go there. We'll turn it around that way. It works better that way. Um, that sticks on there. Do it by eye or you can measure it out if you want to. And there you've got the card perfectly finished there, ready for you to decorate. Now, Go and have a good look at all the different other cards. Now this one, this one here, can we get, do you try that close up on that one? I've got it, there you, that very close up one, Chuck. Let's try that one. Oh no, that's a bit, it's a bit too far in. Let's have to keep it out a little bit. There you go, we'll have to stick with that one. Uh, come back to me, Chuck. Let's, I just want to remind you, this is the hexagonal, 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 not octagonal, hexagonal. Six-sided, six-sided template. Uh, and don't forget when you download it, you can, once you've downloaded it, it's yours forever. You can just print the templates off any time you want. And they say, just don't print them all off at once because you'll get lots of inspiration and lots of ideas from them. So this is the hexagonal, it's hard for me to say, uh, download one and you get six sizes and you've got all the various options. Please, please go and have a look at all the videos showing you some of these cards, how we make them. All we're showing you now is how to make the basic card. How you want to decorate them is entirely up to you.